This is a quick simple video to show you how to drain your tires. With so many RCs becoming waterproof lately, there has been a rising problem in getting water into your tires. So whether you have a Bandit, a Rustler, a Stampede, a Revo, a T-Max, E-Max, pretty much any RC, even outside of Traxxas, you're going to notice that after water runs, you are going to get water inside your tires. And this can be a big problem. And that's where the problem stems, is from that little hole. That hole is for ventilation, so your tire can actually collapse. However, water does get in there rather easily, and it can cause some problems. And I'll show you what I mean with the Stampede. When water gets inside your tires, it can really throw off the balance for your RC. I'll show you with my Stampede. See how much it was shaking around? Basically what happens is the water will all accumulate on one side of the tire and when it spins it flings it around which can really throw everything off when you're driving and it can be really frustrating. Centripetal force is what puts your RC in so much stress when the water's in the tire. However, it can also be the key to getting the water out of your tire. There's just a simple little trick. And there is a trick, a Dremel with a very small drill bit. Now I'll show you exactly just how small this drill bit is. It's like, yeah, one millimeter. It's not even one eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's smallest as you can possibly go. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to drill four holes and they're going to be completely apart from each other. So it's basically going to be like in the form of a square. One on top, one on the bottom, one left and right. Kind of like a compass. North, south, east, and west. So, the holes are not going to be on the actual tread. You're going to want to do it in between the tread. When you're drilling the hole, you're going to want to be very soft, very careful. You do not want to just bore it in. And I'll show you. put it on there and let the drill do the work. As soon as it goes through, you're good. And that is what you're going to want to do. Just like I said, top, bottom, left, right. Once you got all four of the holes in both of your rear tires, then go ahead, get outside, and slowly start spinning them. And you'll see the water start coming out really quickly. You want to be slow with this. At no moment do you ever want to go full throttle. I mean, you really do not need that much power to fling the water out. And over time, more and more water will come out, so... Pretty much just drain your rear tires as much as you think you need to do until it doesn't shake around anymore. So, yeah. And yeah, as you can see, a lot of water will come out depending on how much is in your tire. Now, if your front tires have water in them as well, then just put holes in your front tires and then put them on your on the rear and just spin those. Simple as that. Now once these holes are in, you don't have to worry about them ripping because, well that's why you want to be gentle with the drill bit. It, the hole has to be circular. If you go in there and make it rash or it has a sharp point, that sharp point's going to develop into a tear and that can hurt your tire in the long run. So you want to be very precise in putting the drill bit straight down and into the hole. But besides that, yeah, that's how you drain your tires. And just to give you a quick comparison, do you remember how they shook earlier? We'll check this out now. No longer shaking around. Now there's a quick note that I should tell you. This does not work if sand gets into your tire, which can happen. If you're going on a really sandy area, 
tape up that hole. You do not want sand in here. Otherwise, you will have to take your tire off from your rim and clean it all out. Or just get new tires. But yeah, that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask.